So, if you guys have been on the internet recently, you've probably heard of Gail Lewis, which is kind of weird because she's not the typical e-celebrity. Gail is just a normal lady who worked at Walmart. She's not some crazy IRL streamer going around Japan causing trouble. She's not some big Twitch streamer pushing $20 cookies to her fans. She's not out there doing crazy stunts for views, and yet she's more culturally relevant right now than any of those people. She's literally just famous for doing a sign-off over the Walmart intercom on her last day after working there for 10 years. Attention Walmart, this is Gail Lewis, 10 year associate, Morris, Illinois, 844, signing out, good night. Now, you might have heard of the YouTuber Arak. Well, he came up with a plan to capitalize on Gail's 15 minutes of fame in order to raise some money for charity, only to be completely screwed over by eBay. That's right, Arak got his hands on a Walmart high visibility vest, like the one Gail Lewis was wearing in the meme and had her sign it. He was gonna host and promote the charity auction and donate whatever the vest sold for to a charity of Gail's choice for her cooperation. Gail chose the Children's Miracle Network. Quickly after making the auction live on eBay, the bid started climbing to honestly ridiculous amounts. No one would have thought that a Walmart high-vis vest would sell for $100, let alone $1,000. But then it kept climbing to $10,000, $100,000, all the way up to $400,000 before suddenly the auction was canceled by eBay. Thus meaning that unless Arak found another venue to host the auction, the charity would end up getting nothing and the whole thing was a massive waste of time and hype. Don't worry, Arak did end up finding a new venue and the vest did sell for much less than had been bid for it on eBay. But we'll get back to that in a minute. First, I do want to just point out that yeah, eBay should have done better to check out the auction before banning it, but can you actually blame eBay for banning an auction of what was just a standard high visibility vest that you could buy for like 10 bucks at like a Bass Pro Shop or some similar store when that vest was somehow racking up bids in the hundreds of thousands of dollars? No, I mean, I can't. Let's be honest, that is sketchy as can be. Honestly, given how easy it is to bid on eBay, it wouldn't surprise me if most of the bids came from users with no intention or ability to actually pay the price that was being bid. Like, let's be honest, there's no way that anyone who would want to own a Gail Lewis signed vest could afford to pay $400,000 for it. While Zoomers are well known for their hustle culture mindset, it hasn't really worked out for them most of the time. Also, like if you were someone who had $400,000 in disposable income, you wouldn't spend it on something like this. So anyway, whether or not the eBay takedown was warranted, Arak found another host for his charity auction, a company called Golden, which seems to be like a legit auction business. Instead of a marketplace where anyone can post whatever they want like eBay. It sounds like they even authenticated the vest, which is nice because it will let whoever bought it prove to people that the vest is legit and so is the signature. Not sure why anyone would doubt that, but whatever. The auction went live and the vest did still sell for more than I think any reasonable person would be willing to spend on something like this. It didn't sell for anywhere close to the $400,000 that the bid was sitting at on eBay. Instead, it went for $13,420, but actually officially $11,000. There's some really weird like auction fee or premium thing that changes the price actually being paid. And as I've never attended an auction, I have zero idea how that works. But if someone knows, let me know. Now, that's an order of magnitude less than what eBay users were saying they'd pay. But like I mentioned earlier, this new venue seems to be a bit more exclusive and doesn't just have random zoomers bidding money that they can't actually pay, which is what I suspect was happening on the eBay auction, though there's no way to know that 100%. At the end of the day, I don't think it really matters how much it's sold for. Even just a dollar to a reputable charity, which the Children's Miracle Network seems to be, is appreciated by the people who will end up benefiting. So $11,000 can make a whole world of difference, and it's $11,000 that wouldn't have been donated if there had never been a charity auction at all. Overall, even though it sold for less than it might have on eBay, it's still a win. Also, so many people were so mad at eBay for removing the auction listing that eBay actually had to respond. They ended up apologizing to Arak, with him posting this statement from eBay to his Instagram story. Seems like the listing was flagged for takedown by an automated system that thought the whole thing was sketchy, which to be honest it was, and they've made an arrangement with Arak to help him in the future avoid any of those kinds of issues by working with him on his future charity auctions if he does any, which is a good way for them to resolve it. But they should probably have some other sort of system for charity auctions to avoid this kind of mess altogether, regardless of who is behind the auction. What do you guys think? Do you think that the $400,000 that was bid on eBay originally was real? Or do you think that the $11,000 that the vest ended up selling for it was a more reasonable number? It was kind of an L for eBay to remove it regardless though. Hopefully they really do work on getting this kind of thing ironed out in the future. Anyway, I just thought this was a nice little piece of obscure internet history about an obscure internet micro celebrity doing some good for once and wanted to make a little video about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. Have a great day and God bless you.